I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series on perpendicular lines. In this series, we have some typical examples which are a bit difficult than the normal ones and they will help you to understand the concepts and perform better in your own test. Here is a question which is relating the image of a point when it is reflected on a line. The question before us is find the image of the point 3 8 with respect to the line mirror x plus 3y equals to 7. So the general concept here is going to be something like this. We'll consider a line kind of like this. Let's say that's a line. I'm not drawing it in a, any coordinate plane. So don't get confused with vertical lines or the equation of the line given to you. And if we have a point somewhere on this side, then the mirror image will be same distance away, correct? So the concept here is that these two lines will be perpendicular. That means their slopes will be negative reciprocal. And second is that the distances will be exactly same. So these will give you two different conditions. Based on these conditions, we can get the point of the mirror image. Correct? Okay. So let's solve. We are given now here a point, let's call this point P as 3, 8. Okay, so let this be the point P, which is 3, 8. With respect to a line mirror, so this line acts as a mirror, and we have a line which is given as x plus 3y equals to 7. Let the image, let's call this as I, the image of this point be at a point A, B. Right? We want to find what A, B is. So we are saying that the image I is A, B. So from the concept you have learned that the midpoint here should be what? The coordinates of midpoint M should be a plus 3 divided by 2 or I could write 3 plus a divided by 2 that is the x coordinate and the y coordinates would be 8 plus b divided by 2. Right. So these are the coordinates of the midpoint. Correct. Now this midpoint is on our line L. So it has to satisfy the equation of the line. So I could substitute this value for x and this value for y in this particular equation. Okay? So that will give me one of my equations. So I have here, instead of x, I am writing 3 plus a over 2 plus 3 times, instead of y, we are writing 8 plus b over 2 and that should be equal to 7. So let's simplify this, multiplying everything by 3, let's call, let's make it like this. So multiplying everything by 2, we get 3 plus a plus 3 times 8, 24 plus 3b equals to 14, correct? Or combining the, uh, taking these uh, constants on the other side, we get a plus 3b equals to 14 minus 24 minus 3 or a plus 3b equals to this is minus 10 minus 30. So we get one equation. We'll call this as our equation number one. So we are saying that the midpoint has to be on the line and therefore it should satisfy the equation of the line. So we get one equation. The second equation which we are going to get is from the concept of slope, right? So these are perpendicular lines, correct? Now in perpendicular lines, we understand that the slope of M1 times slope of M2 is negative one. What is the slope of this given line? Line L1, let's rearrange. So we get uh, 3y equals to minus x plus 7 
that means y equals to minus 1 over 3x plus 7 over 3, right? So we know that the slope m1 is basically equal to minus 1 over 3. So that tells you that the slope m2 is basically negative reciprocal. That means it is 3. So the slope of line pi or pm, you can say whatever, is 3, right? So, so this line, which is perpendicular line, has a slope of 3. But if you consider these two points, then the slope m from p to i is basically equal to what? b minus 8. We'll do b minus 8 divided by a minus 3. a minus 3. And that slope has to be 3. So this relates a and b, and we should get the second equation. Okay? So let's cross multiply. So we get b minus 8 equals to 3 times a minus 3 or b minus 8 equals to 3a minus 9. So that gives you the equation as uh, we can take b on this side, 9 on this side. So 1 equals to 3a minus b. Correct. Let's call this as our equation number 2. So we have not two equations. 3a minus b equals to 1 and we got a plus 3b equals to 13. Now using these equations, we can definitely find the coordinates of point A and B. Let us solve by substitution. I can actually write B equals to taking B on this side back, 3A minus 1, right? So let me call this as my equation number 3. So now we'll substitute equation 3 and equation 1. Okay. So that means the value of B, 3A minus 1 here. So we get a plus 3 times 3a minus 1, right? This substitute here equals to minus 30. Open the bracket. a plus 9a minus 3 equals to minus 13. So 10a equals to minus 13 plus 3, which is minus 10. So a equals to minus 10 over 10, which is 1. So if a is 1, then what is b? b is equals to 3 times, I'm sorry, minus 1, right? Because minus 10 divided by 10. So 3 times minus 1, that is a minus 1. So this gives you minus 3 minus 1 or minus 4. So that gives us the point M, right? So uh, that gives us the point A and B now. So we get the image of the point. And so our answer here is that the image is what? Coordinates of A is minus 1 and B is minus 4. Does it make sense to you? So that is how we could actually solve this question. So let's go through this strategy once again. The idea here is that the mirror image will be formed same distance away on the other side. So this is the distance which will be same. So the center point is going to be the midpoint which will lie on the line. That gives you one of the equations. The second equation which you get is on the concept that these two lines are perpendicular. So we equate their slopes and find the second equation. Two variables and two equations you can always solve and then solve and check, right? So you get your mirror image. So I hope that makes sense. Feel free to write your comment, share your views and also watch other videos in this playlist. Thanks for your time and all the best.